Oh my goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song? And Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon, it finally happens to me. I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expressions, he's so stoic. You know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon. His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Good. All right, here we go. Round one is how will Fedor Emelianenko choose to proceed? I know, DC, you think he's going to wrestle, he's going to grapple. Figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he can get that part of his game going. Fedor's got power, man. He talked about wanting a knockout this week, and sometimes... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, he's getting deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then it, now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass. 
And now Ezekiel choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice shots landing from the top position. These ground strikes really start to add up. There's another one. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Making all these shots count. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Holy somewhere smart. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape. Oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Just over two minutes now to go. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Lands the ground and pound strike. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, good ground and pound here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Great shot from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Right. What a round. Right. Heading back to the corner after that round. Emelianenko's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit but he's not gonna do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside position did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage Ready that he's fight. taking. Ready. All right, second round underway. Nice move to punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Guillotine jump! That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. This is a terrible position. Great defense by the defensive fighter. 
North-South position. Oh, he's working for the sub. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then... He's having his way with him here. Big ground and pound. Rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful oh, submission oh, defense reversal. by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Crackers delight tonight. Nice positional control here. Oh, nice elbow. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance, but if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Pedro Emelianenko's right back to the full mount. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping the full guard. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. You gotta be careful here. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Fader. 20 seconds to go. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. When his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, that's the end of the round. And, all right, so Emelianenko's eye okay. is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. 
He's got to continue down the path Great in fight. order to make the cut worse. Great. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He landed that inside leg kick. That leg's going to be beat up. He's already getting beat up bad. Emelianenko's cheek. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. He's got to move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's got to be careful here. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Ground and pound here by Emilianenko. Great submission defense. Now he's got good body position, yup. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Emelianenko's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. This is where he wants to be. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Three minutes to go in round three. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Nice defense. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, right into mount. Oh, big over. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Fedor Emelianenko is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Two minutes to go. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Oh, it looks like he's got the... Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out. He got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. He passes to half guard. Milianenko's pass attempt denied. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Fedor's back in full night. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Emelianenko's back to the side control now. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with this as we go forward. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. 45 seconds remain in the round. In the half guard. Yep, got to be very careful there. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Final seconds of round three. All 
by close guard now. Great defense by this fighter. Oh, he has the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, well, that'll do it for the round. All right, so Emelianenko's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. He's back in the clip. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine! Choke. Maybe we should call it the Oh, great submission defense. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Fedor's in half court. Getting the ball here. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, nice. All right, so Emilian goes back in full out. Making all these shots count. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attack. He's got to be careful here. All right, side control now. Now he's going full mount. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Beautiful transition. Emilian Echo's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. <laughs> All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Fedor's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, slick reversal right there. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. He passed the half guard. Emilian Echo's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. That was a slick transition. All right, so Emilian Echo's right back to the full mount here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. How about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Emilianenko. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to his spot. 
yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Ooh, arms in tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Gotta be careful here. Final seconds here. Short ah, sounds ah. for the end of round four. Heading back to the corner now. Fatal Emelianenko's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. He's going to get it team. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these takes these submissions. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Beautiful ground and pound, and it looks like he has a cut now. His head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on him. You don't want to be comfortable on your back. But when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active, and that's exactly what he's doing. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went Work. right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Under three minutes remain in round five. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestling love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him, and now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. Massive shot from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Right Big right hook there by the champ. Let's go. 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, right into mount. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Set up an on ball now. Oh, that's tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up and gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Emilian goes right back to the full mount. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Davon! Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that.